North to Alaska, go north, the rush is on. North to Alaska. Here we go. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And we actually just boarded the Quantum of the Seas here in Seattle, Washington, as you can see behind us. Oh. We are ready to head to Alaska. That's right, we have a few ports in Alaska and in Victoria, British Columbia. We've already reserved all of our dinners. We've also added all of our show times through the app and we also made a reservation for the North Star. Yep, this is gonna be awesome. Let's check this out. Let's go. All right, here we go. Yeah, Quantum of the Seas. And there's almost no lie. We're checking in right at 11 o'clock. Best time to show the casino floor is on day one. So let's take a look through here. Yeah, it seems decent size. See, there's more games back here. And I just got stuck with my backpack. Um, you can see table games. There's the bar. We are primed this trip, so we're gonna try to get as many free drinks as we can down here, considering we did not do the drink package. Uh, but you can see like blackjack games, roulette table. I do see craps over there as well. And then a bunch of different slot machines. Looks like we will have a, a decent variety for us. What do you think? I, I like how spread out it is, or how it feels. It does out right feel now. spaced out. I do like that there's a variety of older and newer games. Yeah. We've been loving the old games lately, so hopefully we can hit a jackpot on one of them. But overall, pretty decent sized casino, I'd, I'd say. Definitely not as big as the Oasis class, but neither is the ship. Oh, it goes even further. Lots of options. They have a ripcord by iFly on. I'm not sure if we're gonna end up doing this. This is where it's like the simulated skydiving, which we actually just did skydiving in Las Vegas last month, so. Check out our video on that one. Yeah. But if you want to, you can sign up for it. The only time available for us was on embarkation day at one o'clock. Yeah, and we weren't really feeling that right away. Right. So we actually had gotten into Seattle about three days prior to sail away. So we've been hanging out here. We had a big breakfast this morning, and I don't know that we're gonna do lunch today, but we'll see. But that is the tube that they do the skydiving simulation, and you can see on the back here. And then there is a flow rider, but they're cleaning up right now. One awesome feature on the Quantum class ships is the North Star. So you can see it's an observation orb, basically. It keeps raising you up. We will be doing that later today. But there's the main pool area. Something new to us is the C-Plex, which you can see they have bumper cars. They got foosball, air hockey over there. I think there's uh, roller skating later on. Probably, I think this is probably where the laser tag is as well. Oh, yeah. But lots of activities indoors here. Actually, good spots for the uh, ping pong. I like it better than on those other ones when they've been out in the... Yeah, on... Yeah, what, what ship were we on? Symphony of the Seas? It was like out with wind and stuff. That'd be far too difficult. You can see, I think this 
deck 14 or 15 is where the walking track is as well. We snuck out on the sweet sun deck. This is how the good people live. Doesn't look that much different. It's just fewer chairs. Ooh, but I do like this area. Some nice chairs. Nice little view. All right, Cplex Doghouse. I bet we'll be here at some point. I don't think it's gonna be right now. Sauerkraut, sauté, onions, bratwurst, chicken and apple, Bavarian. Hi guys, welcome aboard, may I help you? I think we're just looking right now. Thank you though. Thank you. All right, just so you know, we're gonna call this guy Barry. <laughs> Barry the red bear or pink bear. Yeah. And it is amazing. Oh, oh man, people talk about how crappy the weather in, is in Seattle. We've been here um, three full days and I don't think we've seen it be less than 75, 80 degrees. No, and we've Sunny. had jackets on which we did not need at all. It's been beautiful. Right. It has been amazing. God, I hope that the weather is good for Alaska. So just checking out this uh, North Star. It does not look as big as I thought it would be. No. It's gonna be a little tight in there. Hopefully there's not too many people with us. All right, so this is the solarium area. I believe, or else it's just the indoor pool. We're still searching. But this actually looks really nice. So even if it's crappy weather up in Alaska, this seems like it'll be a really useful spot. I'm actually shocked more people aren't out at the outdoor pool though right now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you have to come here if you want to. But two giant hot tubs. Um, I feel like there's more solarium to this. Let's... This might be the indoor pool. Yeah, I think so. All right, one of our goals is trip is to use the fitness center a few times, so let's check this out. We are up on deck 16. All right, this gym looks pretty sweet. We're even signing up for a class tomorrow on how to boost our metabolism, because my goal is to work out less and still lose a bunch of weight. It hasn't worked in my life yet, but this looks pretty good. It's gonna have really good views when we're moving. Nice equipment. So this is at the front of the ship, Dick, 16. And if, oh, there's some more bikes. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is probably one of the biggest ships I've seen for us. I mean, I know we haven't actually went to them, but physically went to We are going to. But we're going to this Minimum place. of four times this trip, I Ooh, swear. Okay. All right. I won't bring you along, because I'll be a sweaty mess, but <laughs> you can imagine all the muscles being built. We'll show them afterwards. Yeah. Very nice. All right, we found the solarium. We're on the 14th deck in... Is this the front of the back? I think we're at the front of the ship. <laughs> All right, this looks very pretty. Got the bar. And how about this? Hot tubs, anybody? Like three different levels of hot tubs, it looks like. Very cool. I have a feeling these are going to be packed on sea days. Gosh, it looks nice. I'm pretty sure they're hot tubs. I'm going to check. Nope. They are room temperature, but still, it's very humid in this. Oh, here's the hot tub. Nice big hot tubs. And then you can see one over on the other side as well. That's cool. 
When I leave her alone for 30 seconds, to the bar she goes. I'm not gonna be upset about this though, I'm sure. Hey, what are you doing? I ordered us a drink. Yes. All right, what do we get here? We got the Blue Wave. It is vodka, blue curacao, pineapple juice, and club soda. <laughs> she really knows what she's doing. <laughs> All right, this is the indoor pool area, so you can see really nice hot tubs. And the pool area looks good, little kitty pool here. I was unsure about this from up top, but this will definitely be nice on a cold day. All right, we're going backwards. We were hoping to try to make it uh, to our dinner without eating, but after a drink, we, we just need- one drink. Yeah, just one drink. Just one drink. We're yeah, and we don't want to get too buzzed before we even set sail. And we don't want to get too cold before our dinner time. That's true. So, <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> All right, we both went with the Bavarian. Looks like the bun's a little bit longer than the dog. That's all right. I can rip that off. One? Yep, everything um, right. bun. Yeah. And then Rachel got sauerkraut and onions. I got onions and ketchup. Mm. All right. We're supposed to be six two 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 two. That is your name. All right, let's get in there. First, first viewing. This is an obstructed view balcony. We did order some water. You can already see that. Let's see if we can get some lights on for everybody. All right. This looks pretty nice already. I like it. It seems yeah. pretty spaced out. It does seem spaced out. So we did do the water package. Definitely glad about that. We've done that on all the cruises and recommend it. You can see you've got a bunch of paperwork as far as what you need to go to or can go to. Generally there's going to be a little, um, actually this, yep. So it's not like a fridge, but it's a cooler kind of, it's better than a cooler, but not quite a fridge. Looks like two closet spaces. Yeah, two different closets. Bathrooms right here. We do like the door rather than like the shower curtain. Oh, so that's good. nice. I'm glad you see that too. Um, you can see the bathroom looks pretty standard. Pretty tight space, but not too bad. I got all that you need. Here's some plug out. Ugh, here's some plug-ins. And actually USB, so that's pretty nice too. This couch looks Bigger than I would think. Um, you can see the TVs over here, bed. They do have a phone with a little bit of storage right there. Uh, there's your safe and closet. Looks like there's storage. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yes. Oh, more pillows. Extra pillows too. They know me. All right, here you're gonna see what the obstructed view looks like. But there is storage on both sides, so that's nice. And there is a plug-in on one side of the bed. Out here, this is the obstructive view balcony. So the obstruction obviously is that you cannot see directly beneath, but you can see out further. So we're hoping that because we've got brought binoculars, we'll still be able to see pretty good as far as like whales and whatnot. We'll definitely bring you along with for that. I mean, that's okay. Yeah. This was. I said rather have it obstructed than. Yeah, we did do a royal up. We were initially supposed to be in a ocean view room, which is just you know the window, but for an extra hundred dollars per person, we were able to upgrade to this, which I think it's going to be worth it for sure. I think so too. All right. All right, looking pretty good. There's your room tour of six two two two. All right, so one thing that we did learn as a travel hack while cruising, um, when we did our cruise out of LA, was that you can bring a 12 pack of soda and two bottles of wine. So we went to Chateau Saint Michel, just outside of Seattle on Saturday, today's Monday, and we picked ourselves up a bottle of white and a bottle of red, 
And what else did we do? We also did a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper. No, I talked about that part, but oh. the other hack. We're trying a different oh, hack. we're trying a different hack where you can actually order champagne with um, chocolate covered strawberries and white wine with a cheese plate to deliver to your room. So that'd be two yes. more bottles. And they were each about $30 a piece. So they're supposed to be delivered to our room on day one. Yes, and the reason why we and the reason why we're doing this is because we did not do the alcohol package. We right. are now prime with the casino, which means that we get free drinks down the casino. Which is probably one of the reasons. And then we decided with dinner, we do like having a glass of wine with dinner or after a show or with a show. Well, so we don't want to have to go to the casino yeah. every single time that we want to because yeah. the casino's down on like deck th three, three or, or four. four. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a long way down if you want to like go back and forth, but this way we can carry some wine with us. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, mm -hmm. but each each of those was what, like $30? About 30 to $33 a piece, with right. the cheese and the strawberries plus the wine. So there's good snacks Not also. terrible, yeah. yeah. And then the bottles of wine that we brought with were between 20 and $30 each yeah. also. So at that point you're at $120, but when we were last looking, the best prices that we could find, which was like the buy one, get one, or the 30% off kind of thing, it was around, a thousand to twelve hundred dollars yeah, for a for seven, seven day nights. cruise. Yep. So our goal is to basically be under that and still be comfortable with having some alcohol and yep. having some fun. All right, so when I book um, the water package for us through Royal Caribbean, it usually says the Ebbian water package and you can get 12 or an upward to 24. I always pick a, the 12 for us and go that route, but it, we just did get a notice that it's the 12 one liter Ebbian is out of short supply, so they've up ours to 15 of the natural water, which honestly, Josh and I don't care. Yeah, we're just looking yeah. for water. <laughs> and gave us a $15 onboard credit. So we get Three money back. Three bottles of water. And, yeah. And 15 onboard credit is weird because the whole package is like $22. Yeah. So. <laughs> I will take we'll that take deal. That. Yeah. We are on a mission to find 270 which is one of the areas we've been really excited to see. Yeah, right there is Jamie's Italian. We're gonna do that for dinner tonight. It's actually one of our favorite dinners from Symphony of the Seas. We found where Vintages is. That's the wine bar. We, got our, we brought our own wine this time though. Ooh, and cigars. Rachel's a big cigar smoker. <laughs> we were just saying how this Vintages is actually prettier than the one that was on Symphony of the Seas, and I think larger too. So Cafe 270 we've heard is one of the good spots to like grab some fresh, freshly made sandwiches um, and salads. Not sure that we're gonna get anything today though. Oh, grab your drinks here and coffee as well. Pastry and espresso. Kind of makes me think of it serves the cafe promenade. We're supposed to have a coffee card. We haven't found it yet though. But we'll probably get it here. This is probably the coolest room I've seen on the ship so far. They do special shows here and there's also seating up top. Very cool. I gotta say, I think this room will see a nap or two from me. <laughs> Very peaceful, very relaxing. Sleepy. You want me to talk right now? Yeah. All right, let the stair, <laughs> stair step and begin. I already hit all 10 steps. Yeah, we oh just did goals. 10 flights of steps. Yeah. But we are due to go on the North Star here in like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. I want you to arrive, well, 15 minutes. Yeah. I want you to arrive 15 minutes early. So we're here and it's up right now. Now we did do the complimentary offering. Yes. You can go for an extended one that costs like 20 bucks a person, but yeah. we didn't want to do that. Nope. So here we go.
All right, we just wrapped up on the North Star. It was a hot box. It is hot. <laughs> it's hot so hot. There. there is some AC, but it's in the middle, which oh, yeah, was you... not felt on the edges. I say I didn't even think about it because you want to be up near the glass so you can see what's yeah. going on around you. It was very warm, yeah. and um, you don't get to pick who you're in there with. We were in there with uh, <laughs> ten other people, so there are twelve guests and one worker. The guy was very cool. That was yeah. working. He sang a couple songs. Played the uh, ukulele. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Um, if you get talkers and people who are talking about things you don't want to hear about, you're going to listen to that for about 15 minutes. <laughs> That's what we had. Um, I think it was enough experience that I probably won't do it again. Not on this cruise ship. I think we're good. No. We've experienced uh, it. We got to see Seattle from a high up view, yep. which to me was very similar to what we just saw a couple days ago on the Space Needle. At the Space Needle. Needle. So but, it was kind of cool. Yeah, a bit further away from the downtown area. Yep. I actually really like being able to look down at the ship. Yes, um, see all the pieces of the yeah. ship. Yeah, I thought cool. that was really cool. All around, it was good. I'm glad we didn't pay for it. Yeah, and I'm glad we did it the first day. Yes, mm -hmm. and I, I would think that you definitely want to be doing it in port, um, so you can see. Yeah, you want to be able to look at more stuff. Otherwise, if you're, if you're out at, at sea, I don't know what you're looking at other than a bunch of water. <laughs> so, take that for account. I do think we're probably going to head to the pool because it's hot. Seattle is super hot right now for some reason. This I think this is one of the last Alaskan cruises for the year. It is the last Alaskan cruise, yeah. at least for Royal Caribbean. Yep. Yeah, so it's shocking the, the weather that we've got. It's been beautiful. <laughs> but we'll take advantage of it. Yeah, let's do some pool action. All right, we did make it to the pool. It looks like it's kind of filling in a bit. Um, there is a big screen right there. Maybe they'll play some movies later. Uh, dang it. We're on the search for ice cream, but we can't find any. Oh. It says don't run, but I don't know where to. Super excited to find this ch Chinese restaurant, which we did not realize is even on this ship. Dim sum noodles and milk tea. Please be open at some point. All right, good news. We found that the towels are in the indoor pool area. Bad news, we found out that the ice cream place is not open until tomorrow. So towels it is. All right, we just got back to the room and we have multiple good things. That's right, my bag's here. Yeah, Yay. bag is here. First order of uh, champagne is here and some chocolate covered strawberries. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to eat some of those right now. Let's anyway. eat those right now. Yeah. And then we have taken away, or we have sailed off. You should have seen some of that. I got that GoPro sitting out there. How are the chocolate covered strawberries? They're delicious. Good. Just what we need right now. Yes. All right, pre-dinner snack. Eating like cruisers. All right, well here gives us a good idea of what we're gonna be looking at. Um, with the obstructive view, I don't think it's too bad. I don't either. I think initially you're you're kind of turned off by it, but honestly, once you get off in the water, this does not seem too bad. Now sitting down, that's not the greatest, but it's still open air, and so by doing it at like half the price or maybe even more, I'll take that. I agree. I don't think I'd intentionally book this. No, not on purpose, but doing it through Royal Up, I'm okay with. Yeah, I agree. Just kind of wandering around before dinner, so checking out what everything looks like. What's that? Oh, we're in the balcony. This does look pretty big. Nice. Very nice big theater. Definitely have enjoyed Royals shows. They have a bunch of them on this. None of them are Broadway, but still seem like they'll be good. Here's a music hall. We were actually really excited to see this one. You can see there's pool over on the left, a nice bar. Oh, 
This is nice looking. Wow. That's pretty cool. So there's the music stage. Definitely need to spend some time here. Pre-scouting out our late night eats for after dinner. All right, Rachel is ruining our appetites before dinner. Because they're cookies. You have to eat a cookie. When you see a cookie, you eat a cookie. Cafe Promenade. <laughs> All right, here is what they're serving in the main dining room. We actually did the ultimate dining package yep. or deluxe, whatever. Every meal is gonna be in the um, other ones, but give you an idea of what kind of stuff that they're serving. You might end up at breakfast here though. Yeah, I do like breakfast here. But the classics are gonna be every night, whereas the top items are gonna be ones that rotate for you. We just wandered through the casino again, looking at what games we're gonna play later, but I really like this hallway. Just outside of the music hall. Very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, that music hall area looks so nice, and then this area. Oh, it's because I, it looks like it must be an extension of the music hall, really. Oh, okay. Because then you've got the beer. Nope, not beer bar <laughs> right over here beer at the bar oh look at that we're gonna have to come here we will all right saving money here we're trying whoa you did it babe didn't waste any nice and yes we did devour those chocolate covered strawberries oh yeah those are gone We need a strong pour because this is going to last us for our dinner. <laughs> and then we'll be back for more later. Alright, Jamie's Italian time. So we started off with the burrata, mm -hmm. which we remember loving our last time. The ultimate garlic bread. And then... Uh, garlic prawns? Garlic prawns, I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they are big. They look so good. That's a good start to a meal. All right, I got the carbonara. It was one of my favorite things on Symphony of the Seas. And Rachel, we got her the truffle tagliatelle, I believe. And we swapped out those noodles for a penny. All right, main courses. We did do the short rib, which looks great on a bed of mashed potatoes, it looks like. And then a meat lasagna. Looking good. What'd you get over there? Lamb chops, and it smells like definitely some mint on there. Mm. So the lamb, I think, ended up being our favorite meat um, on Symphony of the Sea. So we're hopeful that this is going to be good. I want to, I'm hoping that this is as tender as it looks. And look at that. It's just peeling away with my fork. It's so good. For dessert, we got the brownie with caramel popcorn Ice cream, I believe. Yeah. And a couple pieces of caramel corn. It does not look like there's nuts in no, there. No, no nuts in there. Otherwise, this would be sent back. All right, just wrapped up dinner here at Jamie's Italian. What'd you think about that? It's so comforting. It's yes. so, so classic Italian. It's really good. Yeah, we we had eaten here on Symphony and we actually have a couple times more. I'm very excited for it. I thought it was a good meal. I Overall, let's talk best app, best main. Best app for me was the burrata cheese. The burrata was really that. good. Mm -hmm. I actually was really impressed with the shrimp yeah. or the prawns. I, I was pretty happy with them. Um, but enjoyed the burrata as well. They were big, those prawns. Yes. Were um, best main? 
best main for me, short rib. And it's not even the one I ordered. <laughs> so I really like the short rib. The short rib was good. I actually really enjoyed the lasagna, but I, I've had the carbonara before. I ate my whole bowl and I'll probably do it again. Yeah, I had the truffle tagliatelle with penne pasta instead and I ate my whole bowl. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely and, will eat that. And bowl. then we did share a brownie yes. and it was really good. The um, caramel popcorn ice cream goes really well, cuts the sweet. Mm -hmm. No nuts in that brownie, so we inhaled that thing. Nope. <laughs> Let's go back to the room, get some more champagne. All right, our show tonight came to the Royal Theater. First time trying prime drinks. It's after the show, after the casino. After a couple of beers. Yeah, pizza time. I found the ring of fire coming today. I found the ring to burn the ring of fire. Oh, down, 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 when the flames ring fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. All right, we are back in the room. It is just after 12:30, so calling it early, ish. <laughs> Earlier than last time. Um, we went to the show tonight. Actually reminded me of Lindsay Sterling, which if you've mm -hmm. seen her before, we have actually seen her live. The Very good. like last twenty minutes of it. The yeah, first the part was the first part was Steve from Canada, the cruise director, <laughs> yeah. just talking He's... and dancing with an old man and a little girl. It's weird. No video, but <laughs> it's Steve from it, Canada. Yeah, Steve from Canada. Um so in general, the we have not always gone to the Welcome Aboard mm -hmm. show. I don't know that this told me I would go again, but I really hope that the violinist will be playing yeah. later. The violinist was awesome. Yes, and then we went to the casino for a bit. Yes. Had a few drinks, played some gambles. Uh, the nice part about the casino is they do, as on Symphony, separate it from smoking and non-smoking, so you can yes. have different spots. And I've always thought that seems weird, but honestly... It matters. Yeah. I don't smell smoke on our shirts right now, and yeah. we weren't in the smoking side, so weird, I think that's good. Weird assortment of, <laughs> of, weird assortment of, of slot of machines. Yeah. Um, there's no lightning link, no dragon link, not a lot of buffalo, unless it's the four... Wonder Four kind of version. Yeah, a little bit of the Locket Link. Yeah, um, but minimal, otherwise, though. it's some older games. <laughs> older, but not like the really, really old school. Yeah, it's Whatever. weird. Either way, uh, we didn't lose a ton of money. We didn't lose all our money. That's a good thing. Yeah. But we're headed to bed. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to hit that like and thumbs up. And we do have more, more, more cruise videos coming to you. That's right. You can also subscribe. Please do. It's free for you. And follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you. North to Alaska, go north, the rush is on.